Dalai Lama has apologized after a video surfaced in which he appears to show uh, show him attempting to kiss a young boy on the lips and then asking the boy to suck his tongue. That incident took place at a public event on February 28th. Now, in Tibetan culture, sticking out one's tongue is a sign of respect or agreement, but the video, which has been making the rounds on social media, has made a lot of people really uncomfortable. A statement posted on the Dalai Lama's Twitter account reads in part, his holiness wishes to apologize to the boy and his family as well as his many friends across the world for the hurt his words may have caused. It goes on to say that he was acting in an innocent and playful way. What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful Thursday. I'm doing pretty good myself. What's up with your boy, the Dalai Lama, right here? We don't play like that. Ain't nothing innocent about asking a child to suck your tongue or anything else on your body. That's a bit intimate, don't you think? The thing is, is this. I think people need to, now that the Dalai Lama has exposed himself as one of them PEDs, because that's just what he is. You understand? As far as I'm concerned, that's my opinion. They need to keep their children away from this man right here. Who looks at a child other than a PED and asks them to do something like that? I don't care what your culture is. You don't do that. I mean, really. Now, as we know, you know, it says here that he, the Dalai Lama, apologizes after the video shows him asking a boy to suck his my tongue. That's what he said. His holiness wishes to apologize to the boy and his family as well as his many friends across the world for the hurt his words may have caused. The spiritual leader said in a statement to his 19 million Twitter followers, <laughs> I never understood the significance of this dude anyway. This just goes to show all of those who claim that they are holy are not. You understand? And get into this article here. It says New Delhi, New Delphi, that is. The Dalai Lama, the Tibetan's 87-year-old spiritual leader, apologized on Monday after footage showed him asking a young boy to suck my tongue at a public event. A video clip has been circulating that shows a recent meeting when a boy asked His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, if he could give him a hug. An innocent child hug. You know, it's a beautiful thing. I was in the, the store in Joan the other night. And a little kid looked up at me and waved. You know what I mean? I waved back to the little baby. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful thing to see when, you know, anybody to speak to you in this day and age. Especially, you can still see an innocence in a child when they don't even know you and trust you enough to look at you and say, Hi, you know, that's beautiful. But you do not take advantage of that you understand what i mean that's sick to have other thoughts and, and like i said only a ped would look at a child in that manner in the first place okay now to continue said a statement on the exile leader's twitter account which has 19 million followers his holiness wishes to apologize to the boy and his family as well as his many followers across the world for the hurt his words may have caused. The statement said the Dalai Lama leader often teases people. He meets in an innocent and playful way, even in public and before cameras. He regrets the incident. I'm going to tell you what he regret, regrets about the incident. The backlash, because I can guarantee you if he could have got away with that, it would have been all well and good. Okay. That's what he regrets. Because, see, the people ain't going for no PEDs out in public. You know, uh, doing and saying and asking children to do a pro inappropriate things. Straight up inappropriate all the way around. See? I mean, really. And this should also give, for those of the people who think this man is so holy... You better stop following him. He's just a man. Follow the Most High. By Shimmy Shai. You understand? And this, I'm talking to Israel, that is. You know, because I know also that uh, a lot of our people, you know, 
they run up behind a lot of these uh, guys out here, you know, that um, call themselves ministering the word. And like Creflo Dollar, for example. You know, the one that asked for like, I want a $60 million plane or something like that. See, they are following people like that. And uh, basically giving these people all kinds of money. See, follow the most high. And that's what it is. Now to continue, sticking out one's tongue in a sign of respect or agreement and was often used as a greeting in traditional Tibetan culture, according to the Institute of East Asian Studies at the University of California, Berkeley. According to the Tibetan folklore, a cruel 19th century Tibetan king had a black tongue. So people stick out their tongues to show that they are not like him. <laughs> the Institute said on his website, there's no mention of the tongue sucking on the site. Exactly. And it ain't going to be none. And man, look at these crazy cultures, you know what I mean? But whatever, you know, some of us can say, well, you know, our people messed up and this and that and that and the other. But, you know, I'm going to tell you this. If I had it all over to do again and I had a choice, I would be in the culture that I am in now. Trust and believe that. OK, because I know what it is. Let's continue. The video, which has one million views on Twitter, appears to show the Nobel Peace Prize laureate attempting to give the boy a peck on the lips. In the presence of an audience, the crowd can be heard clapping and laughing while a man captures the moment on a phone. The Dalai Lama, who fled to India in 1959 after a failed uprising against Chinese rule in Tibet is regarded by Beijing as a dangerous separatist. Bet you if you can talk to some of them people, they'll tell you why they really ran his ass out their country. <laughs> Probably was over there asking the kids to suck his tongue. You understand? <laughs> I digress. Let's go. Uh, he has worked for decades to draw global support and linguistics. Um and cultural autonomy in his remote mountainous homeland. He now lives in a compound next to a temple ringed by green hills and snow-caked mountains in the northern Indian town of Tashamala. Some shit, I don't know. Yeah, Tashamala. I guess that's what it is. But yeah, you know, regardless of this dude, man, y'all keep y'all kids away from this dude right here. You know, like I said, if you can go over there in Tibet, not to, where, wherever they ran over in Beijing, that is. Where they ran this motherfucker out of this, I bet you money. They'll tell you, if you can tell them, what y'all really run this motherfucker out of this, this town for? Because he's over here. I'm, you know, in English, I'm going to do my old Kung Fu, you know, uh, <laughs> their voice. You know, the voiceovers, because he was over here asking our children to suck his tongue. And so then we got rid of the bastard. We were going to kill the tyrant, but he fled. We told him never to come back, because if he did, then he must be tired of living. <laughs> huh, yeah, probably some shit like that. You understand? Oh, well, you know. Again, y'all watch who y'all following out there. This dude ain't no holy he ain't none of that. You understand what I'm saying? He's not. Just like a lot of the other ones who come, you know, uh, say they holy. They ain't holy. You understand? Holy means to be set apart anyway from the world and the way the world does and to be with the most high. That's what holy is. Okay? That's all I got on this one, people. I want you to tell me what you think about this particular video right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you like the content, you're more than welcome to donate to the channel. Cash app is in the description box. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.